Francesca da Polenta was the beautiful daughter of the Lord of Ravenna in Italy in the 13th century, and she was married off to Giovanni Malatesta to settle an age-old feud with their family. However, Giovanni was an uncouth crippled man, and a beautiful woman like Francesca had many suitors. Her father knew that she simply wouldn't agree to marry him, so he plotted to trick her. At the night of her wedding, Paolo, Giovanni's handsome brother, was invited to stand as a proxy in his stead, while not a word was disclosed to Francesca. When she laid her eyes on Paolo, she instantly fell in love with him. She hadn't had any high hopes for this marriage, but perhaps it wasn't so bad if she got to marry such a gallant handsome young man. She watched Paolo with stars in her eyes, but all her hopes and dreams were instantly shattered to pieces when she was taken to her home, and realized that her husband was not the dashing young man whose hand she'd held at the marriage ceremony. But what's done is done, and she was just another pawn to settle her father's political disputes. Francesca tried to love her husband, even though every fiber of her being rejected Giovanni. She simply couldn't bring herself to love a man like him, especially not when his brother, Paolo, was always there at the family gatherings to remind her of what she could have had. Paolo was also charmed by Francesca's unparalleled beauty, but he was a married man with children, and he simply couldn't think of his brother's wife as anything more than that. That is what should have happened, but life is never that simple. Innocent glances exchanged between the two, turned into words, words turned into secret meeting, and secret meetings into kisses and caresses. Giovanni's servants became aware of the two's relationship. After all, Paolo had been frequenting his brother's house for nearly a decade, and the lady of the house was almost always by his side. The news reached Giovanni's ears, and he became furious at the possibility of his brother playing with his pride for ten years. One day, he decided to storm into his wife's room, and incidentally, Paolo was also in her room at that moment. Wondering why the door was locked, Giovanni shouted and demanded to be let inside. Paolo decided to hide under the trapdoor in a hurry, but the hem of his jacket caught on the catch, unable to free himself in time. Giovanni rushed inside the room, and his face grew red in insatiable anger. In a moment of blind rage, he took his sword out to attack his brother, but Francesca jumped to protect her lover, and the sharp blade of Giovanni, stabbed through her delicate chest. In his despair at killing the woman he loved, Giovanni took his sword out of her chest, and killed Paolo with it. It is said that after this incident, the lovers were buried together, and their souls were carried ceaselessly by the wind as they lied in each other's arms in the afterlife.